once I know that, okay, by hitting from top, I can bend the beam, what kind of structures I can make. So, this little has made some structures. <coughs> All these structures are made uh, using uh, this FIB iron induced painting. Something like a plate. Okay. Yeah. Here, these things that you are seeing, these are carbon pillars which have been deposited using FIB. So these these bendings are all done. All these bendings are done by FIB. Here is that uh, trench, and from on, and this was the film here. So the film comes up because of the bending, and then he has put uh, carbon pillars here, here, here. So demonstration of three-dimensional nanostructures making applications. Yeah. Next. Then. <laughs> This word nano is written only by this film bending. Okay. All these are metallic films. All these are cantilevers. Each one is separately a cantilever and he has in a controlled manner. Main thing is control. If something has happened and it has happened and you don't have a control, then you cannot make application out of it. But if you have a control, then uh, you can make uh, application. So in a very controlled manner, he has bent all these uh, cantilevers and made this in them. When this, uh, this work was published in Nanotechnology Journal, the editors wrote to us that we want to put this as on, the, on the front of the of that journal, printed journal. Right? So that issue contains uh, this figure uh, as a lead figure on the front, uh, front page of the all right. Now this is wires. These are nano wires. You can see. Usually, using FIBs, the such high aspects ratios are very difficult to make. Just by if you want to uh, stack. I said that you pass that uh, flow, that gas and crack and mix pillars and mix structures. That can be done. But then if you go for high aspect ratio, high is much larger than the width. Then you will have. Uh, deformations and uh, uh, instability and many things will come up. Okay. So, but here using this bending techniques, we were able to just uh, make such wires. So, no, not this one. This one. These are two different figures. This is one wire and this is one wire. So, this is a new type of structure which uh, has come up only because of this bending method. Now here is one application which we had suggested. This is a cantilever. And on this cantilever we have deposited, again using FIB, a platinum mass here. And the platinum mass which had, uh, we had deposited has a mass of about 30 into 10 power minus 15 grams, 10 to gram, 30 gram to grams. That we have estimated from the time for which this platinum was deposited and the rate of deposition and so on. So about 30 femtograms of is deposited and then we have bent it using gallium ions. Right? So it does bend, it goes like this. And uh, if I have a, a cantilever without this platinum load, it goes fast. And if the load is there, it goes slow. And the time difference is about 15%. If that takes 20 seconds, it takes 15% time more, which is a easily measurable quantity. So that means by measuring this time to bend through a given angle, whatever angle you choose, I can find, I can estimate mass of that load. So it's like a mass sensor, femtogram mass sensor. Right? I can, I can <laughs> sense a presence of a mass of femtogram. So this is one application that she has. Okay, yeah. Lifting heavy masses. So on this cantilever, we have deposited this uh, pillar, this is picograms, five picograms. And then we have uh, used this uh, uh, iron beam to bend. And this whole load is, uh, is, is, is going like this. Okay. So if this is 10 nanometers, because what this whole phenomena is based on 
two different kinds of elastic properties being developed. So this top 15 nanometer is becoming one kind, and then I must have uh, other support, which is uh, restricting that bending. So maybe some, at least 50 nanometers more, so maybe 100, but we have not checked. But if it is uh, too thick, perhaps, then it will become heavy, and the whole thing will be difficult to bend. So my guess would be that 100 to 200 nanometer would be the optimum size, but you have suggested it would be can go and check it experimentally. One more thing that I wanted to ask. When you are uh, placing that uh, film onto the trench, okay, before placing that film, have you checked for the defects in, inside the film? Because there could be defects, there could be as deposited stresses in the film when you are depositing using the uh, pressure, uh, weather uh, thermalization. So there could be stresses present, there could be, uh, for example, defects present. And then have you checked for the, the uh, investing properties, I would say, for example, the, uh, there could be some sort of friction um, phenomenon could, could occur because ions have got ions are charged, they are coming, they could generate a magnetic field and that could affect the maximum mechanical property of that field itself. So all these possibilities, in your opinion, uh, could these be a important factors in designing the candle? Right. It, could be, it, will, it will be there. It will be there. What we have done, I have not told yet. We have uh, bombarded it with electron beams too. Okay. So, and much, with much more energy, with uh, about 10 times more energy, different energies in fact, going up to about 10 times, right? So, all that energy deposition, all that charged particles, all those things are there, larger current, larger velocity, all those things are there. Electron beam is not able to bend it. Electron beam is not able to bend it. So, we take it, uh, in fact, this uh, electron beam exercise was taken, to check all these effects, some of these effects that you are mentioning, that uh, why it is heavy iron, is it the heavy iron which is uh, making the trick, right? So the electron beams could not, because electron beams will not be able to dislodge atoms, create vacancies, create voids, and create that compressive stress. So that part we have checked. But uh, yes, whenever we thermally deposit, the deposit things, there will be initial stress will be there. But once it is flat, it is flat. 